Hi everybody, it's Amy from Winterwood Studio and as you can see today is an art haul day and this is a very special art haul. This was sponsored by Timu and you guys are gonna think I'm nutty but I had never heard of them before they approached me about doing a video. So I went to their website and checked it out and they have like pretty much everything you could want to buy. Uh, like fashion and uh, jewelry and home goods and pet supplies and all of it is at like insanely low prices and I looked and sure enough they had an art supply selection so I said well I'd be happy to do a like a best inexpensive art supply haul um, that you can get on Timu and so this is kind of special I don't actually know what's in here <laughs> I had to send them a whole list of possible things plus five or six backups in case they were sold out before they packed up my stuff so I know what I suggested but I don't actually know what I got so <laughs> it's gonna be a little bit of a surprise for me as well all of these items that I did pick will be down in my description box below and there's going to be a special code for you guys to get 30% off all of the things that I picked. <laughs> so that'll be cool. That'll be down in the description box as well. Um, maybe I can put it up here somewhere too if I can figure that out. So everything is free shipping and just to check things out, so this is the package they sent me. but. This is a package I ordered. So I just wanted to make sure I wasn't getting special treatment as a YouTuber, artist, whatever. So I ordered this under my husband's name using his email address. And unless somebody was like paying real close attention on their thousands of orders as to which, what people's shipping addresses were, like I don't see how they would connect the two. The same day I sent in my list of um, picks, I ordered this as well. And they just came, both of them, today on the same day. So it was nine days and they both came on the same day. So I don't think I got any special treatment as far as picking items and then getting them shipped out and then arriving. Because like I said, same day, uh, arrive, and they arrived together. Um, at the same time today. So let's open this up and see what's in here. So I guess they like have sales a lot where everything is 90% off, which is crazy because the prices are already super, super, super low. Don't want to cut anything in here. And like I said, I don't know for sure what's in here. And actually I sent in the list nine days ago and I'm not sure I even remember everything I put on the list. So it should be fun. And maybe if there's time we can do um, some testing of some of the stuff in here. So here's the first thing right on top. Is this one thing? These bags are actually kind of nice. You know what these would be good for? Is storing like my art supplies and stuff in. They're actually pretty nice thick bags. I'm totally gonna reuse these to store store my supplies in so things aren't as messy. So the first thing I got was this fine tooth surface suitable for various drying media sketchbook with three colors of paper. And let's quick take the paper off and or the plastic off and flip through here. It looks just like it did in the picture of what I ordered, like exactly the same. Okay, so here's the sketchbook. It says 30 pages. There's a white for a lot of it, and then some toned brown, and then some black. So it's mostly white, but there is some, oops, toned paper back here, and some black. And it feels pretty smooth, but I think you could do, I think you could do colored pencils on here. It feels like it's got enough of a tooth that it would yeah, this looks like a fun little sketchbook. So there's item number one. And then item number two. It, it was kind of like being like a, a kid in a candy shop because they just gave me a budget and they were like, go pick stuff. <laughs> so it's actually really fun. It was the most fun I've had in quite a while. It was, I've had a little bit of a, I've said before, rough patch. And so 
it was super fun. <laughs> it's kind of like it was, you know, like your dream as a kid where somebody sets you loose in an art supply store and says, just pick whatever you want. <laughs> okay, so this is a dotted journal, which is what I use. I've got mine right here for, this is the one I have and I'm almost halfway through, so I know I'm gonna need a new one soon. Um, I got this one in pink. Oh, and it's nice. The pa paper is nice and thick. The dots aren't too dark. It's got two pretty little ribbons. I don't know if you can see that in the dots. And it's really got a lot of pages. This is really nice too, super nice. This is almost as nice as my Archer and Olivine one that I bought, um, which was, that was kind of expensive. This was like $5. <laughs> And the Archer and Olivine one was 28 so yeah, this is a better deal for sure. <laughs> it's really pretty. The cover is pretty too. It's really nice quality. I didn't, I wasn't sure what I would get for $5, but this is just as nice as this, maybe nicer than this one that I got on Amazon, and this was like 9 or 10, 10 I think. And it's got way more pages. Yeah, way more pages. Wow. Well, so far I'm very impressed. And now let's see what's in this. Oh, this was one of my secondary picks. So that must have mean one of the things I picked on the first picks wasn't there. So this is a paper trimmer. And this was like four bucks. Very cheap. Mine was starting to cut things raggedy. So I did actually need this, even if it's not super exciting. <laughs> and I'll probably just keep these in here so as I've talked about before I'm trying to figure out acrylic and I'm getting back into my oil painting so I ordered these uh, canvases there are five of them and they're eight by ten and they look really let's take the plastic off Wow, they're way smoother than I was expecting. Like, you know how if you get canvases at like Walmart and they're a little bit rough and you have to gesso them like five times and sand them to get them usable? Like I'd put, I'd still put a coat of gesso on here, but I do that for even the ones like the um, gallery level ones from Blick, I still put gesso on. So, I mean, that's no big deal. I like I like really smooth usually, but if you're doing a more of an uh, impasto technique, you could probably go right with these. Just to, yeah, they're really sturdy. I can't bend them at all. That was a really good deal too. I'm not for sure how much those were. You know what I'll do? I'll put the price of everything that I bought when I bought it um, down below in the description too, so you know how much um, each item costs. I want to say this was. Somewhere between 6 and 11 for five of them, which is actually a really good deal. Especially for these quality, this quality. I was not expecting this high of a level of quality. I'm really impressed so far. And you know, we've talked about it before, but um, when you're on a budget, it can be hard. Like, art supplies are expensive, you know? Really expensive. And sometimes you have to shell out for certain things, like, you know? But sometimes... You just want some supplies that don't cost a ton of money. And uh, I'm on a budget. It might not seem like I am, but we don't have a ton of money. Um, you know, I lost my job back at the end of last year. And, and yeah. And these look great, too. These are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12. 12 6 by 6 inch, I think is what I ordered. Or did I order 4 by 4? I think these are the 6 by 6. And there's 12 of them in here. And let's take the plastic off these two to check them out. I think there's so many things in here. I'm not sure how much we'll get to test in this video, but I'll test it in future videos for sure, too. Yeah, these are really sturdy. They don't flex at all. These are really great. I'm super excited about these because they're a lot more expensive on, on other places. I can tell you that. And the reason I got that is because I've been... Ooh, 
reading this book again. I've had this book for years. Um, I've never actually like worked through it, although I've read it several times. Um, and the whole premise of this is that you take a six by six canvas panel and you do a painting every day and you can do oil or acrylic or whatever. And I'm really going to get heavily into oil and acrylic this summer, I think. So like I'm all set. <laughs> this is great. Seriously, really great. <laughs> this is like the best day all week. <laughs> okay. Ah, okay, what else do we have? There's so much stuff in here still. All right, let's see. Oh, another canvas panel. This was a bigger one just for fun. I wanted to check the quality of some of these and see how they all compare. Maybe this was the linen one. I think this might have been the linen one. Again, really nice. No flex. Really smooth. I'm not going to take the plastic off this because I'm going to try to protect some of these that I know I'm not going to use right away. Really nice. So this was, I think, does it have the size on here? I think this might have been the 9 by 12. I think so. I wanted to get a range just to check everything out. So then the next thing in here is this. Let's see how this is. I'm going to just put all these canvases and things right back into these bags and some of my loose ones that I've got in other places. These are awesome for storage. They're really thick and nice. I mean, I have a lot of stuff to store, so <laughs> it's going to be nice for me. I don't know what's in here. It's not labeled on the outside. Let's see what's in here. Oh, I think I know what this is. I was really excited about this one. Here. I think I know what this is. I'm really excited about this one. Ah, it is! Look at it! <laughs> okay, so this is uh, Baohong. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Sorry if I'm not. This is 100% cotton watercolor paper, and it is a uh, 9 by 12. Yep, 9 by 12 block, and it was only $25. So, <laughs> I don't know about you, but the watercolor paper I buy that's 100% pure cotton is not $25 for a 9 by 12 block of 20 sheets. So, I am super excited about this. And I, if I can, this for sure I would like to try at the end of the video um, so we can see what, what the quality is like. If I can get in here. But I checked it out on some other places and it's like you know, a real watercolor brand. They're for sale on Amazon as well. It's got really great reviews. So I'm super excited to try this because I am looking for some 100% watercolor paper or 100% cotton watercolor paper that's a little bit cheaper than the one that I currently use. So, which I think is double the price of this. And like I said, I know it might not seem like it, but we are on a little bit of a budget. So... I wonder if I should get my opener so I can take this top layer off. You know what? Let me grab my slicer and dicer. Let's take this top. So if you've never done a watercolor block before, there's a small slit and then everywhere else it's glued down. This is like the protective front sheet to keep your first sheet of paper nice. And I'm not going to take this all the way off. I ordered fine, which I think is hot press. They had fine, medium, and rough. So I assume hot press, cold press, and um, rough are what they are. It looks really nice. I can't wait to test it. If we have time, we'll test it at the end of the video. Boy, there's so much stuff I'm running out of room to put it. It's like Christmas. It's like my birthday. It's like my, Chris it's like my birthday and Christmas put together. <laughs> Okay, so now this is another thing that I am very interested in testing out. This is the Gall Gallery Mungio Artist Oil Pastels um, 50 sticks, 48 colors. So now, I just bought a 72 set. This was $11.99. I just bought a 72 set for $52. So if these are the same oil pastels as the ones that I paid big bucks for like 
yeah. A, I'll be a little mad. <laughs> but B, I'll be able to recommend these to people if they want to start with oil pastels. Okay, so they're a little bit thinner than the ones that I have, so maybe that's why they're cheaper. But still, if they're the same oil pastels, this is still a great way. They're like the size of, um, like, a, like the Pentel pastels. Um, so that may be why, how they're able to offer them cheaper, but it would be a great way to get a starter set of a range of colors and get started with these. If I have time, would also like to swatch these and compare them to the big box that I have. Let's see what this is. Ooh, these are pretty. These are the Van Gogh washi tape. Here, let's just turn the light off for a second dark it's raining again I don't know if it'll focus on there because there's still all the all the windows behind me I don't know <laughs> there there you can sort of see without too much glare and then there's the patterns on the back um, and this is to go with my bullet journal because I like to decorate the top of each page with a strip of washi tape and these are beautiful they're sparkly and gold and I love Van Gogh he was my first love I had like a crush on him <laughs> I read like his biography when I was like 14 <laughs> I know I'm a little bit of an art nerd what can I say <laughs> all right I think this might be the thing I'm most excited about maybe if it is I want to save it for the last but I can't really tell so I don't know all right, let's do this. Let's take this out. Okay, so the next thing we have here are, I think these are the Transcend Detail Brushes. So I think these were also a, yeah, they're the Transcend Detail Brushes. So these were also a secondary pick. Um, which means maybe I didn't get two things on my... They're small detail brushes. And Transit is a really good brand. Um, I buy them a lot for watercolor on um, Amazon. Um, and these are a lot cheaper. Uh, with like half the price. So if I like these, this may become my new place where I buy like canvases and paper and brushes too. We'll see if we can't test those at the end as well. All right, let's see what's in this one. I'm excited about this too. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm gonna take the paper off this too. So this is supposed to be a 100% cotton paper. Here, let's take the plastic off so you can see it. 100% cotton paper sketchbook. Um, and this, I believe, was like $4.99, $6.99. It was, again, insanely cheap for a 100% cotton paper. And it's the perfect little four inch by four inch square sketchbook for taking outside and doing like watercolor sketches and stuff. And there's even a little place to put your pencil. And the cover is really soft fabric. So pretty. Wow, yeah, this is for sure cold press 100%. Well, it's for sure cold press paper. It's supposed to be 100% cotton. There's quite a few pages in here, but it's nice and thick, really thick. It's got to be, did it say? It feels similar in weight to my Arches paper, and there's a very nice rough cold press texture. I'm really excited to try this. This will be a lot of fun. So pretty, too. So, And there were lots of different designs you could pick from, not just this one. Again, insanely cheap. Insanely cheap. All right, and let's see what else we have. Oh! I'm excited about, I think I know which one, unless this is, I don't know, maybe the one that I most wanted didn't, didn't I didn't get that one, but I'm not surprised because there wasn't a lot of them left, so. This box has, there were two things that I was super excited about in it. I think it has one or the other, but I'm not sure which, and again, beautiful, beautiful washi tapes. Is that going to focus? Beautiful, beautiful washi tapes. I'm trying to make it so the glare is only on part at once. These are beautiful. So pretty. They make me feel excited about doing my morning to-do lists in my bullet journal. 
that's really why I get them. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see what this is. Okay, now this, again, was something I really wanted. This is Trance and Brushes as well. And again, I have bought this exact same set, exact same, on Amazon for double the price of these. These are their um, uh, goat hair watercolor brushes. And they, if you're looking for budget brushes, this is what you want right here. Um, they are, they hold water really well. They have a little bit of snap. They're not mushy, but they're not too stiff either. Uh, they release their color and water well. Um, and I really, they hold up well. I really enjoy these. So this is again, I want to say like five or six dollars and I think I paid 12 on Amazon. So this is again, a great buy, great buy. If you're on a budget, I highly recommend. All right, and then, this is my Marie drawing pencil set. And I think this was like $2, $3, and it has, um, let's take it out so you can see. It has two, like, I think they're charcoal. Two charcoals? Oh, there's a 14B and a 12B. Those are the really dark ones with the silver. And then the rest are like your normal HB, B um, pencils that you would draw with. Um, and again, very, very cheap. So if you're on a budget and you need drawing pencils, obviously that's the place to go. Um, I just... I just bought, bought drawing pencils on Amazon and they were like four times the price of that. So, all right, let's see what else do we have here. I don't think I had this on my list. I must have either that or I put the wrong link down. I don't know what this is. Mm-mm-mm. It looks almost like there's a magnet on the back of here. I'm not sure what this is, so. <laughs> it's silicon of some sort. Oh, I see. Does this stick here? It does. So it's like a little protective crafting station for your desk. I get it. And it's got like measurements down here. Looks like it must be 19 inches by 15 inches. Well, that's really nice. You could put a little water in here and clean your brush. This must keep your, yeah. Do I have a, let's take one of these out. You could probably mix your paints in these little things here. I didn't even see this on there. That's probably maybe too big for the holder. Let's try a smaller brush. Oops, I pulled the little cap right off. I wonder if I can get that back on. Okay, so yeah, look at it. It's a brush rest. Well, that's really awesome. That's really cool. That's a good idea. I didn't pick that, but I like it. <laughs> All right, I get so excited about art and art supplies. I tell you, I don't know. <laughs> At least some people seem to like it. All right, and then I ordered this as well. We're getting to the end here. There's only one thing after this one. And then I don't know if I should open the other stuff from the other Timu box. There's only one art supply in there. The rest of it is not art supplies. Um, cause I would have felt bad putting anything that wasn't art supplies on this order. And plus I wanted to check, check things out. So these are, uh, synthetic golden tacklons and these look really nice. They're the filberts and it's a really big, nice set. I mean, they're, they're big, these up here, they're 20, 24, 22. And I got these, I'm not sure if I'm going to use them with my acrylics or my oil paints yet. But I'm really excited to use these. 
I hope they're I hope they're good. I hope they don't shed too much or anything. This is a brand I haven't tried yet, so I will probably want to try those quick at the end here as well. And here is the last thing in here. And I'm thinking, I'm not sure what this is, which of the two it is. Or maybe it's something I didn't pick at all. Oh, it's the one I really wanted. Okay. So, this is a wooden box. Do you know what it is yet? Does that help? <laughs> okay, so this is a wooden box and it has a latch right here. See the very nice latch. And you open it up and I think there should probably be, yep, here's the strap. Oh, this is so nice. So nice. So it's got, um, here, let's see if you can see everything in there. So you have like pencil holders here. This could hold some little brushes or some more pencils or whatever supply you want to put. There's another nice elastic strap here for something bigger. Little clips for clipping things. And you could put some paints down in here. And then, um, I think, is this a divider? I'm not sure what that is. I'm not sure what that's for. I'll have to figure it out. Oh, I bet I know what it's for. Yo, see? So it stays open like that. So you can take this outside, which is what I fully plan to do. Pouchard boxes and plain air boxes are super expensive. Look at that, it's perfect. You can just put it on your lap and do a little painting. I'm really excited about this. <laughs> this was only $21. And here's the strap to attach, we'll do that here too. Oops. I wonder, I'm not sure what this is for. I wonder if you could clip this. I don't want to, I don't think that's wide enough for this. But you could still just put it in here too for carrying home if you didn't have too many paints with you. Okay, and let's strap this on. Um, yeah, so I was looking at a Pouchard box. And it was like $160. But I really wanted a way to paint outside. I have a little watercolor paint travel set. But I didn't have anything for acrylic or oil. And like I said, that's my goal this summer. Let's see if I probably need to make it a little bit bigger. The strap is really soft and velvety. It feels really nice. Doesn't feel like it would irritate or anything, if you know what I mean. Oh, I twisted it. Okay. Let's see if I can get a little video of it. Yeah, look at it. That's really nice. <laughs> I'm super excited. Yeah, that was only $21. I'm really ex excited about it. Wow. Well, so that was my whole haul from Timu. Um, let's, you know what? Let's open this other one that was not paid for by them. And there, like I said, there's one art supply in here and I just want to see what it looks like. The other stuff is, I mean, I can show it to you, but I got wireless earbuds for my kids and a little light, I think. So, oh, and two little lipsticks. <laughs> um, here's the art supply. And I can put a link to this as well if they're not sold out. Um... See how do I open this? Over here. So this is a, a pencil roll. I don't know if it's black so it's hard to see. Oh, there you go. And it's supposed to hold 48 pencils and then you can just roll it up. And tie it up and throw it in your bag and go. So this looks just like it was supposed to look on the picture. Um, it looks really nice. Let's see if it'll fit my pencils. Okay, 
Can you see that there? Yeah. Yep, it fits my fabric Castiles perfectly. Yeah. This was like $2 too. So, <laughs> a really good deal. A really good deal. Again, I was looking at these somewhere else and they were much more expensive. So you can see I'm planning to do a lot of outside, in the woods, sketching and drawing and painting this year. And also if I have to go anywhere for whatever reason. And then, I should open this a little wire. The, obviously the same kind of packaging job as the one that was paid for. Um, these are little earbuds. We ordered green, blue, and pink, and we got green, blue, and pink. I'll have to figure out how to pair them and see what the sound quality is like, but they were like $4. So, um, you can't really go wrong unless they don't work at all, <laughs> which I'm sure they won't. I'll check it out too. And then this last thing was fur in here, so it's sort of a supply. And this is the lamp, the color changing LED lamp. Let's see if that works. Ooh. It's really pretty. It looks like it's got a it must be chargeable. Oh, that's pretty. I don't know if you can see that it's not very dark in here. But it makes like a rose pattern on the tabletop here. Maybe if I turn this off. So you can see the little pattern it makes on the... That's pretty. That's my favorite one. That's really pretty. I really like that. <laughs> so, that's for just cheering it up in here when it's rainy or th this is just for cheering it up in here when it's rainy or snowy or whatever it's really pretty so the stuff that I ordered by myself with my own money through my husband's name is beautiful it's exactly what I ordered it's the same thing and it came the same day in the same kind of packaging so that was <clears throat> I had one other experience with an inexpensive app whose name I won't say um, and I ordered a few things and what came was not what I ordered so I just wanted to check this for you guys my viewers um, and make sure that what I ordered was what came even if I was just a regular customer so I feel very confident in saying that what I got I ordered um, <laughs> that didn't make sense what I ordered I got <laughs> even when I was anonymous. So, let's clear this away and let's test a couple of these things here. Okay, you guys, so here we are over at my art desk with, um, I've got the two brushes, um, the Transcend, they're both Transcend, I think. Um, the 100% watercolor, 100% cotton watercolor paper sketchbook. The 100% cotton watercolor paper block and my, and the Mungio Gallery Artist Oil Pastels. See, I guess actually let's start. We'll start by testing the brushes and the watercolor papers. So let's start, let's start with the, this watercolor paper. And then I have a scrap of Arches 100% cotton cold press paper here as well. Um, and we're going to be using the same watercolors on them. This is the super granulating um, Schmincke watercolor here. And take this off. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to use my regular brush. And this is the one I bought myself. We'll wet a square here. And we'll wet a square up here. And then let's see what happens with this. Active, reactivate it. And just put it 
on there. Let's get the little half pan. Okay, and then let's do this one over here. And then let's clean our brush and we'll wet another square here and another square here. And this time we're going to go for, um, let's do the core quinacridone magenta and drop some of that in here and see if it spreads the same. Okay, so here are my thoughts. Um, I very much liked the watercolor sketchbook with the cranes on the front. The hot press watercolor paper also was a great buy and I enjoyed that as well. Um, the Transcend detail brushes were awesome. In fact, I went back to try to get another package of those and they were sold out. I used those with my acrylics um, and I was very happy with them. The drawing pencils were also great and the multicolored paper sketchbook was also another awesome thing. Um, the Transcend watercolor brushes are a good buy. Um, they are not exactly the same as the ones I got on Amazon, and I did prefer the ones I got on Amazon um, a little bit more than the ones I got from Timu, but the fact of the matter is that the Timu ones were much cheaper than the ones on Amazon's, so I think at that point I would maybe just get the Timu ones uh, because there wasn't that much of a significant difference. Um, the one thing that I wasn't super happy with was the Mungio Gallery Oil Pastels. They were not the same as my Mungio Gallery Oil Pastels that I got uh, from Blick. They were much more similar to like the Pentel Oil Pastels in the size and also they weren't as blendable or as creamy um, or as opaque as the Mungio pastels I got from Blick. However, I think they were better quality than Pentel, um, and they didn't have the horrible stink that Pentel has. So if I were on a budget and wanting to get started with oil pastels, I would recommend these oil pastels from Timu over the Pentel oil pastels. Um, I think they're a better option for beginners, and in fact, I think they might be the student-grade Mungio um, oil pastels and just not the artist quality and to be fair they never claimed they were the exact same ones anywhere on the website I just thought that they might be the same and they weren't um, so you know that's okay I honestly would have been really mad if I had spent way more money <laughs> on the artist quality set and then found out these were artist quality for like $50 cheaper <laughs> um, but again I do think they are a good option for beginners um, and so I do recommend those over like the Pentel oil pastels if you want to get started and you are on a budget. I am absolutely in love with the canvases and the canvas panels. I think those are a stunning buy uh, for the quality that you get. And I definitely 100% plan to get more canvases there as I use these up for my daily painting that I was talking about. Um, and like I said, I wanted more of these um, trance and detail brushes, and I went back and they were sold out. So I'm going to be keeping my eye out for those as well, and I do plan to repurchase both the watercolor sketchbook and the watercolor paper in cold press and again in hot press. I think that is an excellent deal as well. I've also really been enjoying the travel paint box. I took that out once and it worked great and I can't wait to take it out again. And I also took my watercolor sketchbook out once for plein air painting and it worked great too. Uh, that's again something I definitely will replace when I use it up. Um, it worked great. So I hope you like this ridiculously inexpensive, ridiculously fun art supply haul from Timu. And again, a huge thank you to Timu for sponsoring this video. It was like the best thing that's happened to me all, all month. <laughs> it really, it really lifted my spirits and it was a lot of fun. And I highly recommend everything that I got. And I had so much fun. <laughs>
And again, I don't even feel like super guilty about it because it's not like I went out and spent, you know, $500, which is probably what I would have spent if I bought this anywhere else. So yeah, I can feel good about it. Oh, so before I forget, if you want to join us over on my Patreon for my sketchbook club, um, where I'm doing the weekly prompts and then you can post your art and just talk about life and art in general over on our Discord group and our Facebook group, um, the link for that will be down below. I'm also doing four reference photos for you guys every month as well as exclusive full-time tutorials over there. And if you'd like to join us over there, we'd love to see you. And also, uh, thanks for watching this video. So if you haven't hit the like and subscribe or commented or whatever yet, I'd really appreciate it if you would. Um, every like and uh, subscribe helps push my content a little bit higher in the YouTube algorithm, which means more people see it, which means I get a little bit of income to help buy art supplies and make more videos like this for you guys. So I hope you had fun today. I know I did. This was really <laughs> maybe the funnest video I've done so far. Fun funnest? Is that a word? Fun? Most fun? <laughs> anyway, until next time, happy creating. Mm -hmm.